God bless you, viewers watching all over the world. My name is Prophet Elijah Bamidele Yiluholo. By the grace of God, I am the spiritual son of late Prophet Tibi Joshua. Everybody knows me. You know that I'll be one of these prophets in Nigeria who have been speaking the mind of God concerning our nation and the happening around the country. I firstly want to sympathize with the, the family of David Adeleke of the loss of their son. May the Lord receive that little boy to his bosom in Jesus' name. Why I, I want to speak about this issue, I'm not good in talking about it, things like this, but I want what drew my attention was because of the issue, the things happening in Nigeria, mostly in Nigeria, where people no longer believe men of God. People now talk down men of God. Everybody can just come on social media, begin to insult pastors, you know. No pastor is genuine, no pastor is real again. You know, that is, this is one of the problems that is happening now in our nation. I'm not saying there are not fake pastors, there are fake people. Also, there are still original people. The Bible says, test all spirits to know if they are from God. This, this, if this family of a, a, a David, if they have listened to the voice of God, this boy would have died. This boy would have died. In a nation where the voice of God is not recognized, that nation will collapse. That nation will collapse. God spoke. God revealed this revelation to people. They, they spoke out. A lot of you came out and said they are looking for attention. They are poor people. They are looking for recognition. They are looking for money. Prophet Samuel, is it Prophet Samuel? Oh, man, I don't know. Gave the revelation. Prophet Godwin Koro gave the revelation. Prophet Onu, a maker from Aoji, also saw it and saw the video to come and see him. No, we look that men of God and believe that men of God are not recognized, they are not important. This is the problem we are having today. Where are God still speak? Let us come back to God and listen to the voice of God. This is what drew my attention to this, to, to this matter, and I decided to go into prayers to ask God what will happen. And I discovered in the realm of the spirit that this young boy was not really the target. The target was the mother, which is trauma. The arrow was fired to the mother. God diverted the arrow. Because if that arrow had hit this woman, it would have been a different story now. The video would have been accused for a different reason for what he did not know they would have accused him. And as I was praying and asking God about this young man, I saw what I saw baffles me. The Lord said to me that I should tell David Do to look for God. Look for God now. I saw darkness everywhere around you. Send this video, send this video to David Do. I saw the darkness I saw is too much. There is another calamity the enemy has prepared down for this young man called David Do. He's a young man that I love with passion. David is a man, a young man that has the feeling of other people. I love him for who he is. I love this young man because of his character, his attitude. But the darkness around you, around the video, is too much. The Lord said, the earlier this boy look for him, the better. Look for God now, so that you will not pray later. Because I'm seeing the family of the video praying later. They are going to pray later. The Lord said they should pray now. Look for God now. This is how we speak. They don't listen to us. Remember, this was how I came out. I was talking about Prophet T.B. Joshua. I was speaking to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our president, President Muhammad Buhari. How God was speaking to me concerning Prophet T.B. Joshua. Is go and see him. Now that you see Eli. A lot of people said, I was looking for a recognition. I told them now that they see early, before it will be too late. Now the man is dead. Everybody is now breaking out his video. Prophet T.B. Joshua saw this, so T.B. Joshua said this, so when he was alive, how did you people treat him? God has, God has spoken now concerning the video. You people did take the prophecy serious. You, 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 you neglected the men of God that God used because they are not, they are not billionaires. No, sir, God can use anybody. God can speak to a little baby. You must have the spirit of sensitivity. God said I should tell David to look for him now. The family of Adeleke should tell this young man to look for God. The darkness around him is not good at all. The darkness is too much. If you think I am joking, if you think I am lying, bring out your spiritualists, bring out your prophet or prophetess, bring out your whoever, who, whoever that, that, that is working for you. Let the person come out and challenge me and say, Prophet Elijah, what you said is a lie. Then two of us will go into the spirit. Two of us will go into the spiritual. They will not know who is a prophet and who is a spiritualist. They will know. I am telling you, darkness everywhere. Another calamity is coming. Choma, choma, choma. 
The better you run to God now, the better for you. They are not happy that you are with this man and they want to see your end by all means. I pray that the Lord will preserve you and protect your family. This is all I can say. If I have opportunity to meet with two people, I will tell you more details of the revelation that I got. I spoke about the recent happening now in Abuja. When I was shouting and screaming, Abuja, I am seeing war, I am seeing attack, I am seeing attack. Firstly, I spoke about the Kuje prison attack. All of you said that was fake. That was on the 9th of June. I was in Dubai when I gave that prophecy. Did it happen or not? It happened. And I came back again. The Lord, I went to the matter. The Lord told me, I said, This Abuja, this Abuja, there is an attack that is going to hit Abuja, and people will, in fact, they will, if you shake the whole world. I gave that revelation. Many of you never listened to me. And I'm repeating it again that everyone should be should wake up now. Our federal government, the all the security should tighten up their bed. Because what I am seeing. What I am seeing in Abuja, I don't know what they want to do with Aso Rocco. I don't know what they want to, whether I mean they leave Aso for them, I don't understand. This is their target. They want to hit Abuja so bad. But God said their evil plan will not stand. And it shall not come to pass. I have been praying for Abuja, praying for all the people living in Abuja. Their attack will not hit the innocent ones. The attack will not hit the innocent ones. Please, all the evils all over the world should come together and begin to pray for Dr. Nam the Kalu. I'm seeing tears. Every one of you know that I'm one prophet who has been speaking about Nam the Kalu case. He's not my brother. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. I'm doing what I'm doing as a servant of God. It's not for anything. It's because of God that sent me to speak. That's why I kept, I kept speaking because God gave me utterances. And the Lord said, I should tell. All the evils to come together and pray seriously now, seriously now against the evil plan over the life of Dr. Nam de Kalu. When the prophets speak, the wise they're listening. But I want to let you know, federal government, let nothing happen to Nam de Kalu. I beg you in the name of God. If anything happened to him, <laughs> the country, I'm talking as a prophet, I am not against anybody, I am not for anybody, I am for God. So, some people, people call me the Brafra prophet, no sir, I, I disagree with you. I am the prophet of the whole world, sent by God to this generation. If you think there is any revelation, prophecy I have given, that have not manifested, have not come to pass, post it online, let the world see it. I can never stand here to say, thus say of the Lord, where God has not spoken. My name is in prophet Elijah, Bamidele. so I want all the evil to come together now and begin to pray. Because I am seeing tears. I'm seeing tears. But the Lord taught me that if we can pray, these tears will turn to celebration. Those that want to cause tears in the camp of the evil, it shall not stand. And it shall not come to pass. Isaiah 7 7. I pray for the Tomna the Kabul that the hand of God will preserve him. I pray for Abuja and all the people living in Abuja. None of you will die premature death. It shall not stand. It, there shall be no loss again in Abuja. The last life they took will be the last. I pray for the family of David Adeleke that the Lord will console you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will, will, will expose all this hidden enemy. Kokoroto Jefo, Ibe Folowa. Uh, what is what is what is troubling the video family is around the video. Uh -huh. Is they around? Oh, oh God! Just the dumbass say make a just the mention them. Make a the mention them now. They describe them. You know this person. See how he be. You know this one. You see how he be. No be no be for line. I go to talk on those ones. Be careful the video and look for Christ. The darkness is too much. The Lord will help you. God will preserve you. And every one of you that's going to watch this video, both the ones that like me and the ones that hate me, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord guide you, may the Lord bless you. If you believe I'm a prophet of God, pray this prayer for yourself. I shall not die premature. God bless you and the Lord keep you. Jesus' name.